Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to take a look at slicing inside of machine. So I have this drum loop over here and I'm going to select, drag that on my pad over here and check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and hit sampling on our machine. And if you don't see your waveform, that's because you're not in your edit tab. So click on edit or just select edit on your machine. So I'm gonna hit edit and here's the waveform. And if you have a different waveform, which is longer or different, you can just use your start point and end point on your machine to trim it. And when you trim your sample, you can navigate to truncate on your machine. So by using these knobs or on your software, it says truncate over here at the bottom. You can click that or hit apply. And then you will be left with this waveform that you can work with. And it's just easier to slice your sample that way. So let's go ahead and click slice. And then on the left side or on your left screen, you can see we have this knob that has, that says manual on it. So if we move this knob, you can see we have four different modes. And even on your software, you can see it. We have manual, grid, slices, and detect. So I'm gonna to go to manual. And you can see that when we're in manual, we have these transients or these slices that these lines in between our waveform. So those are all the slices that it has automatically placed for us. All right, so the manual mode isn't too flexible. So what we can do is we can change this knob to grid. And then in the grid, we have these options for fourth, eighth. If you change this knob, you can see eighth, 16th, 32nd. So even on your software, if you come down here, you can see the slicer menu. And over here, you have all these options that you see on your machine hardware as well. So I'm gonna change this to eighth. And if you can see, there's all these lines over here. And if I change that to 16th, uh, I get more control over even detailed parts of the audio. So these notes over here. All right, but my favorite is detect. So let's go to detect. And then we have the sensitivity knob. And if I change that sensitivity all the way down to zero, you can see that there's no slices. But if I increase the knob, you can see that it slowly starts adding, let me increase, yeah, so it slowly starts adding these slices wherever the transients are. So it detects these transients, the peaks of your waveforms, and then starts placing slices over there. So the higher I take this knob, you can see more and more lines start forming. And then I'll have more control over all these samples individually. All right, so if you like this setting, which I do in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply on the top right on my machine. And now it's asking me where I want to apply this to. So I can select a new group. So I'm gonna pick B and then do okay. So okay, and now you can see all our samples So now if we go to sampling again, you can see that we still have our whole waveform, but it's picked a start and an end point for us. So if you like these slices and these cuts, you can go to truncate on your machine. So navigate to where you see truncate and you can hit apply. So select the samples you wanna truncate, hit apply. So I'm gonna select the snare, apply. that open hi-hat and apply. All right, so I've applied it to these four samples. So I'm gonna shift erase on my machine and select all these other pads that I don't need. But I want this snare over here on the second pad. So what I can do is I can hit duplicate, select that snare, place it on an empty pad, select the hi-hat, place that on an empty pad, select the snare, place that on the second pad and then delete those other two pads. Now I also have another loop, which sounds like this. I can drag that loop over here, go into my sampling mode and go to slice. And we can go to grid this time. 
maybe pick fourth. I can even do eighth. And then if I'm satisfied with this, I can hit apply, pick a new group, hit OK. So I have the B group, which is the drums. So let's hit sampling. And then I have the C group, which is my roads. So now I can duplicate this sound into an empty pad in this group. So hit duplicate, pick a pad, grab a different group, empty pad and place it. Duplicate that over here. Duplicate this over here. So I can duplicate these sounds. So we'll do the same thing. Hit duplicate first, grab a pad, hit an empty pad and place it over there. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to our channel for a lot more. And we will see you next time. Peace.